What do you mean the attack came from Japan? They're our allies. Mr. President, these attacks represent the most sophisticated application of information warfare ever imagined. The missile launch came through Japan, yes, but it seems likely it was triggered by elements of a private security operation, Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's outfit. We have contracts with them. Who's Shetland? Former Marine Recon, among the very best. He was one of my top candidates for third echelon a few years ago. No love loss for the military or the United States. Rumor is that we hung him out to dry for political reasons over an incident that wasn't his fault. We can only speculate as to what his agenda is. Well, how do we defuse the situation until we know? Maybe the Chinese can help. Gotcha. <laughs> Echelon tracked down Doug Shetland in Tokyo six hours ago. He's mobile and he's wireless. And from what we've managed to decrypt, it looks like he's about to wrap up his business with whoever his Japanese contacts are. From what we've managed to pick out of the air, it looks like he and his men are about to converge on a bathhouse in the middle of the city. We need to find out who Shetland is meeting with and do everything we can to prevent him from closing his deal. Clearly, the attack that crippled the Walsh and forced launched the missile from the battery went through Seoul, but it originated in Japan. Shetland has something to do with it, and my line into the displaced servers shows that he's definitely profiteering on this war. In order to shut down his operation and prevent any further escalation, we need to ID his business partners and make sure they don't leave there with any more of Zerkezi's weaponized algorithms. Fisher, the bathhouse where this meeting is going down is a semi-public place. There will be civilians in there, and probably a boatload of goons. Shetland's men seem to be popping up all around Tokyo in the last hour or so, and converging simultaneously on the location. Frances Cohen has been in Asia for the last few months, and she's found some ties between the bathhouse ownership and a Japanese criminal organization known as the Red Nishin. It's possible that they are Shetland's partners. All right, folks, here we have it, the hardest mission in the game. We're going to take the stealth load out. Uh, one thing you can do here with Reddings, you'll see they have three smoke grenades. As you watch this, you will see applications of why having more smoke grenades would help you. But uh, we're going to go with stealth load out. We'll, you'll see we have a bunch of crap. We have six sticky shockers, six airfoils. This is a long and painful mission, folks, but let's get into it. Fisher, I just got a request from Francis Cohen. Definitely what does she need? Not She's right been trying to get a man inside the bathhouse for a long time to keep tabs on the Red Nishin. She wants to know Anna, if you can tap the phone lines now? in and around the building. Francis, of course. Spoken like a true technician. I ain't touching So our first sub-objective here is to mess with these phone boxes. We just gotta splice a few wires. Good work, Fisher. That's the first phone line. See if you can tap into the rest. I'm a little brain dead this morning. Usually I don't do it so uh, ridiculously. But anyway, our next objective is this light right here. We need to tag it. Just as that marquee hits the last character. The funny thing is it probably made it easier fucking it up like that. But anyway, you can sneak past those two that just walked over here. Just as we did it. Not a problem, folks. Just a reminder, Sam. You'll have some civilians in the bathhouse. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Be more than careful. Be Gandhi. Yes, sir. Central, this is Seven. I finished the basement. All clear. Yeah, okay. Seven out. All right, so Seven here's going to try to turn on the lights because he doesn't know what might be lurking in the darkness. Let's do this the easy way. Give me a small piece of useful intelligence, and in return, I won't kill you. That sounds more than fair. What can I tell you? How many men you have here? Oh, actually, I have no idea. Shetland organized us like a flash mob. We were scattered all around Tokyo. The call came. We all showed up with our own part of the plan. Interesting. I was just supposed to come and secure this basement. I didn't even know there would be others here. Never mind how many. So now we know a little bit how Shetland's operating. 
Everyone has their own part, and everyone does their part. Sort of like us. Except we do a lot of parts. Alright, so this next room, there's a few ways you can do it. I always do it this way. Boop. Now you could be sneaky and, like, tag this with your OCP. And as you'll see, that keeps it from blowing, so you can sneak past those, uh, those sheets right there. Honestly, I don't have enough, uh, patience to do it that way. But what you want to do is go around those sheets, get behind that one bin, and tag that light. Because he will see you if you go around the other side. Fisher, those guys don't look Japanese to me. Yeah, expensive suits cut wide in the shoulders. They're packing for sure. Exactly. I make them for displays, trying to keep a low profile. Makes sense. Doug knows how to stay discreet when it's necessary. Fisher, in order to figure out who Shetland is meeting huh? with, you'll need to head that? up into the private offices. Check upstairs, to the north of your position, and past reception. On my way. Alright, so this guy, we were waiting for him to look this way. Depending on who's actually watching, you'll get a certain number of people over here. We just want him. We don't want the whole circus. But we're going to let him simmer down. There's our civvy over there. It's also a guy with a flashlight. Okay, he's all done. So let's go ahead and mosey on out there. See, where is he? Okay, he's heading back into the room. That's perfect. It gives us plenty of time to get in position. We'll go ahead and switch to our sticky shockers. And we'll uh, take a look around the room. You'll see that platform that the civvy is standing on. That changes positions between runs. As you can see in, the, in this run, it's in between the two sets of beds. In other runs, it'll be further back in the room. But it's not too different how we're going to handle this situation. Right now, we're just waiting for our buddy here. He's going to sit in this chair. And we're going to give him when he does. So right now, I've reduced my speed completely. Just so I don't screw up. And here he comes. All right. Cooperate, and I won't cripple you. Uh, who? What? Tell me anything you can about the area you're guarding. Uh, the lobby and upper offices are to the north. The baths themselves are to the south. Wow. You're pretty spineless. A lot of people say I'm too nice. Maybe that's why they never let me guard an area alone. All right, so the offices are behind us there, and then the baths are that, <laughs> that way over there. All right, let's take care of both of these fools. We've got to be careful, because as you saw, that civvy does go into the room. So now he's going up there. It's safe to mosey on this way. So we're going to close that. And we have a light switch, so of course we're going to turn that off. All right, let's see what the situation is outside. We just want one of these assholes, not both of them. So as soon as one notices us, we're going to close the door. Either one should notice. Any moment. Hope that noise isn't too irritating, folks. Should be over shortly. Hopefully they don't both come in at once. We're actually going to fall back a little. Is that Japanese man coming? This guy's not going to come in the door. He's just going to walk this way. All right. Let's go ahead and open this back up again. Okay. Our civvy is noticed. So now we're going to lay back and wait here. So we'll come in here and try to turn off the lights. Or turn on the lights, I should say. Yep, there he is. Make sure our speed's all right. There you, there you go. Took care of him, no problem. We're going to sit you right here, sir. There you go. Now we just got to get rid of his buddy with the flashlight. Where is he? Is he just walking around out there? Yeah. He hasn't noticed. 
We're gonna actually get you out of here, just in case. We are gonna pull that other guy in this room. I just want to make sure they won't be identified as a body. So we're gonna slap him down behind the desk. There you go. All right. Now, same plan as last time. We're just gonna open the door and let him come in. I'm gonna be a little more reckless this time because we only have him in the room. In fact, I could probably just shoot him. You know, I probably should just do that, you know? Not be a jackass. In fact, that's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll just wait for him to come over here and I'll shoot him in the back. Okay, I hear him coming. Yeah, I see his feet. There's his flashlight. Now, if he does the same thing as last time, he should look over here, then turn away. Yep, here he comes. Is he going to get away from us? Uh, I don't like to shoot their heads, mostly because they have a habit of ducking. It's this watch. There's a good shot. Yeah, whenever you shoot their heads, they must have a random chance of just going, Oh my god, there's something flying towards my face, and then ducking out of the way. So you got to be careful with that in this game. Although, it, it doesn't work when they're sitting down, which is why I was able to shoot that guy in the head with an airfoil earlier. Let's go ahead and get our pistol out. What we'll need next. You don't have to take out these three guys. I just like to do it, because it makes it... Easier later for us. We'll be back through here. Is the upstairs secure? <laughs> yeah. Might be some red mission guys up in the private rooms, but I didn't disturb them. How about the front? It's tight. A truck is blocking the alley, and I sent the guys unloading it for a coffee break. Which guys? Just some guys. Worker guys. What? You just said, hey, why don't you guys take a break, and they did? Well, I gave them 100,000 yen. Oh, okay. Well, don't forget to expense that. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so now they've entered their pattern. The guy on the right's going to head outside. we got to be careful. We don't want to get too close to these shades. Because they will lie us up. There's a computer monitor out there that we'll have to deal with. We're going to be very careful here. There's quite a few ways you can do it. We're just waiting for him to head upstairs. There he goes. So I'm actually going to go out here. Take the monitor. Shut that on the computer. And now we're just going to head out of here. Now we've shut down and we'll come back on, which is good. You don't have to do this. That guy is scheduled to sit in the chair directly out there. You may have seen it. You can barely see it right now. But uh, he he will eventually sit down there. And even though that thing is lit back up on our thermal vision, it's not, it, it's not emitting light. I'll show you. If it was on, we would have been lit up there on our offset, but not this time. So we're going to wait. We gotta be careful here. All right. So Isn't this supposed to be on? He's known as a computer. We're just gonna wait for him. He shouldn't be able to see us in here. The guy outside has a flashlight, so he has a chance to light you up through the shades. Let's see what he does, folks. Nothing here but ghosts. Is he gonna shadows. sit down? Nope. Nope. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Well, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. <laughs> uh, you gotta be careful when he goes over to this left side because he does have a chance to go in between the desk and the wall right there <laughs> he's actually bumped into me a few times that's why I know about it but this time it looks like he's gonna go in front of the desk and probably back upstairs like an asshole yep that's exactly what he's gonna do so we're gonna have to kill a little bit of time. Not too much. 
All right. Next time we'll have a good chance at him. The guy outside, what we're going to do is we're going to flick this switch right here on the wall. He'll come in and try to get it. Well, all we're going to do is stand over here by the computer. He'll walk around the right side, and we can just sneak up right behind him. It's really easy. Really consistent, too. After we get uh, done with both of these fellows, we have two options. We can head outside, which is what we are going to do. The other option is to head upstairs to the right. If you do that, you'll want to hack this computer here because there's a camera at the top of the stairs. Hacking the computer will allow you to disable it. Let's go ahead and head back in to the little closet we got back here. Because I hear him coming. There he is. Just our speed. And let's go get him. So you can do that with the monitor on. I have done it. And I've also been spotted while I've been doing it. It's kind of funny that way. And I could have interrogated him. We'll get the next guy. They have the same dialogue. Alright, so let's flip the light switch. There we go. Speed's already good. Let's just lay in wait. Pretend we're a computer. I like how his uh, sunglasses just sort of hover out in the darkness. Like they emit light or something. They're just that shiny. Okay, Sam's getting agitated. This guy's in his territory. He doesn't care for it. Let's go again. See, nice and easy. We'll interrogate you. Shh. You know what I'm after. Probably Shetland. Everyone else seems to be. Where is he? He's meeting someone in the private baths at the back. Not sure who. Not exactly sure when. But soon. What's his escape plan if something were to go wrong? I don't know, but I'd bet on helicopter extraction from the roof. So taking out these guys, you don't have to do it, but like the three guys earlier, it makes this a hell of a lot easier. So we're going to do it. We'll go ahead and leave that off. Go ahead and close that. We're just going to run over here, and there's a... Something for us to climb up. I think it's a light pole. No. It's, uh... I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a gutter? Some kind of gutter? Sam, please. Thank you. Alright, Sammy. You're doing a good job. Now, as soon as we scale that pipe or whatever it is, this guy is scripted to come into the room. He's not gonna see us. We can move as much as we want. We can wave at him. He'll just think he's had too much sake. Look at him. He's like, I'm seeing American super spies again. Too much sake. Oh man, I gotta quit this. So now he's gonna go take a nap, try to sleep that sake off. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Alright, so we're gonna get up here, and you noticed I was running before, so we're gonna adjust our speed, go all the way down, just to be, just to be careful. This guy has some very good information for us, so we're going to interrogate him. I don't want to hurt you, so tell me something useful. I know lots of useful things. Fantastic. Run down the list. The door code to the owner's office is... Three, six, five, zero. Good. There are some men barricaded in a room next to the owner's office. There is a vent in the wall that joins the rooms. Very helpful. It is my pleasure to serve you. Please, come again. All right, let's take him out. Put him right here next to his books. All right, let's get our airfoils out. We'll need those. Just our speed to three. Let's take a look outside. You may have heard someone walking around. Oh, good. He's in a good position. I won't have to waste too much of your time. We're just going to let him go over here. Open the door. And shoot him in the back. Right in the spine. There you go. I don't think we have to worry about that camera, but we should have plenty of time anyway. We'll go ahead and put you with your Japanese friend here. There you are, sir. And we'll need our pistol next, so we'll get that back out. Alright, and that, our buddy before gave us the door code, 3650. 
Nice of him to do so. We'll just leave that open because we'll be right out of here. Got it. Shetland's meeting in the private baths in the back of the bathhouse in a little while. Who's he meeting? Red Nishin, from the looks of it. Cohen was right. The bathhouse owner is pretty high up in the Japanese mob. I don't know. That doesn't sound like Shetland's style. Well, unless you find something to the contrary, it looks like a solid lead to me. I'll keep sniffing around. Fisher, those two aren't displaced. They're ISDF assault troops. What is ISDF doing here? Maybe the Red Nishin has sold Shetland out to the ISDF. Eavesdrop on that meeting. Figure out what's going on before ISDF blows this up. How are we gonna stop them? I'll get on the horn with Admiral Otomo and make sure we're all on the same page. Should we tell Canada? No. There is no way Shetland had time. Besides, we are in a hurry. All right, you'll see that these guys are barricaded in the room, just like our friend told us earlier. There's a dresser up against the door. So we can't get in from the outside, and they can't get out. So we're going to be as noisy as we can here. Close that. Tag the camera. Did we get it? Oh yeah, I see the flashing. And now we get to head over to the bats. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll out, Sammy. This next takedown I'm pretty proud of. We use our speed. Well, we make noise with our movement just when we want to. So we'll go ahead and tag that. We don't really need those yet. In fact, we don't need them at all. So you see that guy looking in the mirror? We're going to tag that light. We're going to go around the corner, make a little bit of noise by increasing our speed. Now we're just going to wrap around. He's going to follow our footsteps we just made. And we're going to follow him. I love that. So fluid, so perfect. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here all alone? Jesus! Oh, please! What's past the locker rooms? Uh, the corridor. To the right is the public baths. To the left is the pool. But the pool is being repaired. Thanks for the info, but I'm not here for a swim. The baths are well defended. Uh, the pool. I don't know if anyone is in there. That's better. All right, so we'll take him out. He told us that the smart way to go is left. So that's the way we're going to go. Okay, we got him, Sammy. There we go. Okay, we've got to be slightly careful here. You'll see a shadow. That's what we're looking for. And then we'll just head out. Not a big problem, folks. I'm gonna throw him in this bathroom stall. Cleanliest place we know, right next to a squat toilet. We'll just leave him right there. We don't need to touch anything else in this room. We're gonna head left towards the pool. Like I said earlier. Tag that for some, <laughs> some insurance. You don't really have to do it if you time that right. Which I think we did. The pool is one of my favorite areas in this game because there's... It's probably the most, uh... Hmm, what am I looking for? There's a, a, a myriad of ways you can solve it. Probably more than anything else. So we're gonna... I'm gonna show you my way. First I'm gonna find this light, stay in darkness, put that in my pocket, and now we're gonna wait for these guys to have a little conversation. Too bad the pool's empty. Wouldn't mind a little dip to cool off. What? You didn't bring your bathing suit, did you? No. Well, you can't go in with all your kit. I'm not ashamed of my body. What? Man, it's a bathhouse. It's all full of... Uh... Relax. Heterosexual men have been bathing naked together since time immemorial. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you say so. And here I thought this place was a forward-thinking employer. All right, so after that's over, we're going to tag the light with our OCP. Make sure, our, set our speed to three so we can move pretty quick, but still quietly. Go ahead and switch that off, Sam. There we go. So now we have plenty of time to get out of here. And you may have noticed there's a phone box on the wall over there, so we'll hit that before we leave. All these phone boxes are pretty much in your way if you go the right way. Uh, I guess it was nothing. Well, whatever it was, it ain't here now. I guess we can write that one off. It's certainly not hanging from that ladder over there. Nope. Oh, that was a little soon. But we didn't get bitten in the ass. 
Goes okay, Sammy. Get splicing those wires. Atta boy. Way to go, Sam. Cohen says there's one more phone line she'd like you to tap. This next room's not too bad. Actually, I kind of like it. All we have to do is wait for the queue, and that man right there is going to give it <laughs> give it to us. Oh my goodness, folks! It's getting a little bomb in here, and this is the cold bath. You'll know when we have to go. Whoa! You scared me there for a second. Sorry. Visibility in here is terrible. If something goes down, it'd be next to impossible to fight. Got any night vision gear? Night vision doesn't help in this crap. Maybe if we had thermal. I guess we'll just have to rely on our ears. Yeah. Unfortunately, since Mogadishu, I don't hear so good. You were with the Rangers of Mogadishu. All right, it's not a problem, folks. No, I was. As you saw, as soon as he whips around, tries to shoot his buddy, that's our chance to go. Now we have a man to turret. That turret will not hit us from all the way back here. We're going to go into the room and go immediately left, and that'll make it easier for us to get through the room. This guy, he's going to park himself in just a moment, and that's our cue to go in. You'll see that wooden beam. He's going to put his back to it. There it goes. So we're going to go in here, hug this left wall as tightly as we can. And then we're going to hit this valve. It's going to make it a little balmy in here. There we go. And we're going to sit tight. Because he's going to move. He doesn't get parked indefinitely. Can't see shit. Okay, there he is. Got him. We're just going to take him down for a little insurance. Usually I can just go around the right side, but I have had him shoot at me a few times, which doesn't make any sense. But, you know, just how it goes. We don't have to worry about the turret here, by the way. I just saw it swept us. Not a big problem. I can't see us in all this mist. Next portion we have to be a little careful at, but not too much. We just need to not run right out there. There, you'll see that guy, just barely. We're going to let him leave the room. Yeah, I wish I could get a better angle on him, but I don't want a chance getting exposed. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So when the ISDF, you'll know them because they have those blue goggles. There's our last phone box. We'll get that in just a moment. We need to set him down first. Now we're going to blow out this candle. The ISDF is going to come back, try to light back up, and that's when we'll get him. It's not going to be a problem at all, folks. So let's get this. <laughs> let's tap this phone line in the uh, in the moment we have. That's the last phone line, Fisher. Cohen sends her thanks. Tell her it was my pleasure. All right, folks. We're just gonna lay in wait. Those eyes. Sure oh, there he is. Was burning earlier. The kangaroo is burning earlier. Well, I better go light it back up. You'll notice they have night vision goggles. I'm not exactly sure if that gives them night vision. I haven't had a chance to uh, notice, to be perfectly honest. It's not over their eyes. So I'd assume it doesn't, unless they actually put it on. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. Okay, next thing we need, I think, is our pistol? No, 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 actually, we don't need anything else. We'll keep our pistol on, just in case, though. We want to be careful at this portion. We need to listen for some footsteps. Okay, this is our chance to go out there. You'll hear that clinking. That's that man right there. We need to time him perfectly. Don't go out too far. He has a chance to <laughs> detect you if you're at the edge of the screen. Even if, even though you'll be in complete darkness. Alright. Uh, he's done. Zachary. Yes, sir. I just double-checked the blueprints. Turns out there's a vent that comes out in the meeting room. ISDF makes me nervous. Make sure the vent is clear of any surveillance gear. Yes, sir. Be quick about it. The meeting will start soon. I'm on it. So we have a man talking to a technician here. The man who was talking to him, to the technician right there, if you uh, went in here too early, you'd have a hard, a hard time getting out of the room into that vent. But since we held back and waited for that first guy to come through, 
We had plenty of time. It was really easy. Let's go ahead and hop up here, Sammy. Man scan for bugs. He's looking for the little ones, though. He's not looking for these big <laughs> these big suckers. Oh my goodness. Just think of all the radio emissions Sam probably has coming off him. He's got to be a radio hotspot. It seems that Lambert and Grimm's daughter have audio and visual feeds from him. So, I mean, come on. He shouldn't even have to use his little device. It should be going off like crazy. Alright, so we're going to go on the same thing he just came off of. Not really a big deal here. You don't need to touch him. Ooh. Okay, let's get in there, Sammy. Okay, in this vent, you need to be very careful. And I'll, t well, I'll tell you why exactly after what we're doing here. We're just going to go far enough that we trigger the dialogue and we're going to move back. Lambert, ISDF is in the building. Are they making their move? I haven't been able to contact Otomo. I don't know what's going on. Wait a minute. Yes, this will do just fine. I told you I've taken care of everything. We're secure. Jesus, Lambert. SDF isn't here to take Shetland down. They're meeting with him. They're his partners. My God. Stay there. We need to hear the details before we go to the Joint Chiefs with this. You did not bring them? I am not going to follow you across Tokyo. Relax, Kaneda. I'll just download them and burn you with this. Ha! Huh. You take me for a fool. You are not stupid enough to download them over a public network. What are you up to? I said relax. You're right. Not that stupid. My men just finished setting up a shadow. Completely secure wires discreet from the web. Now sit. You'll have your algorithms in about four minutes. Call it! Lambert. Let it go, Fisher. We know the truth. We'll pick up the pieces after the dust settles. Save it, Kanade. I've seen it before. You're defending your honor to cover up your lies. Should I check the account, or should we start shooting and see who walks out of here? Kanida! That's the war! No, 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 please. We can work this out. We're switching the fallback. The chopper's on its way. Good. Secure this area. No one comes through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kill Shetland. I know. All right, so the reason that we did not head out here is this guy right here. He's one of Shetland's elite troops, and he has bullshit goggles, or at least that's what I call them. They see everything in line of sight. And, no kidding, he would identify you as an intruder in that vent. Which is really asinine. He wouldn't give you any sign that he did it, by the way. He wouldn't start shooting, he wouldn't say, Shetland, there's a guy in the vent. You just have to wait till the end of the mission. Anyway, we're to the most exciting part of this mission. The one that's most prone to bullshit. Let's go ahead and slow down to three. Get out our sticky camera so I can show you what the situation is. There we go. Let's take a look. So here we have more of Shetland's elite troops. You'll see them both in back there. And on this side, you'll see we have ISDF. There is two of them. You might be able to see the one on the other side. There's a pop machine right next to them. The difference between these two troops, well, these two classes of troops, are these guys have, of course, their bullshit goggles. And they're not affected by any kind of gas. They have gas masks on. So, how do we sell this? Well, the ISDF do not have that same gas immunity. So we're going to use our gas grenades. We're going to be very careful here, because if we go out too far, the ISDF will identify us as intruders. Okay, we got him. I hear somebody coughing. We're going to jump here in the water, slow all the way down, and get our airfoils out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the situation. Okay, I see one body, and I think I see the other one. Okay, so we got them both. I hope they're not glitched. I see the guy on the left, there, and the one stuck in the corner there. I hope that he's not stuck there permanently. 
Otherwise, we're... Okay, good. I was going to say, we're going to have a hell of a time. I've had them stuck there before. And uh, when they get stuck there, there's really no way you can handle that. As soon as you shoot one of them, the other one will immediately find you and kill you. Right now, we're going to be waiting for a bit. Because we're waiting for them to settle down. They've just been in a combat situation. They're very agitated. But once they settle down, they will park themselves. And that'll be our chance to move through this room. We're going to take both of these guys out, too. I've seen this uh, I've seen this done multiple ways. In fact, you know that uh, vent that we'd used to come into the room? I've seen people just head back into that vent, have nothing happen. Every time I tried it, of course, I got shot in the head. You'll notice that they're pretty agitated. <laughs> they just got into their park position, and now they're out of it. I don't know what does that. It might be this flickering light. It might be the gas grenade. I know they don't identify other factions' bodies, which is very nice. But that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for them to stop getting agitated like that. Anyway, back to how other people... How I've seen other people do this. I've seen them just go through there. Uh, and then they roll past the two ISDF. I've never had any luck with that also. I've always been identified as an intruder by both of these guys, if not by one the ISDF also. One other thing you can do is use your smoke grenade here. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how you do this with smoke grenades. If you don't want to touch anybody in here, if you align yourself exactly like so, you will toss your gas grenade into the room perfectly. I'm not going to do that, we need our smoke grenades for later. Go ahead and switch back to our Air Force. You guys done? They seem pretty mellow now. You gotta be real careful. Because I have had them in the state and then immediately get pissed off by, I don't know, by someone's gas. And then turn around and shoot me in the head. But it looks like they're mellowed out. So let's go ahead and give this a try, folks. We're gonna make sure our speed's all the way down. We're gonna take out this guy nice and quiet. We've got airfoils out just for insurance on that guy, just in case uh, he gets agitated on our way there. It's kind of dark. It's not helping any with this flickering light. Yeah, they're bullshit goggles. The only thing they don't see through are uh, smoke grenades. But we have this guy. All right, and we don't have to hide these bodies, which is really nice too. No one will find them. We're going to take a moment just to settle down ourselves because, man, this is hair raising. In fact, my palms are swaying like crazy. But we're going to take it easy. Here's the room where Shetland was having his discussion with the other guys. We need to go slow around this corner. Because we have a wall buddy. Good old wall buddies. We're not going to die to something so stupid. Let's go ahead and get our cameras out because we have this innocent room. This very innocent room. You'll notice I'm not running in there. There's a reason for that. We have one, two, three guards. We have, we're over here. You'll see my shoulder. And there's the door we need to get through. There's no way to do this <laughs> other than really using smoke grenades. I've tried it with cameras making the noise, but they're just too inconsistent. So we're going to use two smoke grenades. You can also do it with one, but that's also inconsistent. The placement, I have not found it. I've done it once with one grenade. Let's make sure our speed's at three. And we're going to let this fully disperse. It didn't make the dispersion noise. That's usually what I wait for. But what are you going to do? Okay, we don't want to move out too far. I can't see, though. There's just too much shit. Okay, so we are hugging this pillar. Now we're going to throw this right here. Perfect. We're going to double check our speed is three. There it goes. That one made the dispersion noise. That's your cue that's safe. And now we're going. Not a big problem, folks. We're going to switch over to our sticky shockers, because we'll be using those for the duration of the last part of the mission here. We have another wall, buddy. We don't want to get caught off guard by him. We're not going to do something stupid either. Okay. Get that Doug Shetland. Shetland! I see you. I'm gonna give you a hug, Shetland. Just come over here. This is pointless, Sam. 
You won't know what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Shetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. All right, I'm sure people who've played Chaos Theory remember this room. How could you forget? Okay, I'm gonna make sure my speed's at three, and we're gonna touch this. Mason and Lambert have you wrapped around their fingers, Fisher. You're no more to them than any other weapon. All right, folks, we're gonna squeeze through here. Keep an eye on that light right there. We're gonna wait for a shadow. There it is. Dark hue that's safe. We're going out here as fast as we can and shoot this lad. Make sure we hit him. <laughs> You'll notice I did take my time there because I did not want to miss. It would be most regrettable if you spent 40 minutes on this mission only the fuck up there. <laughs> of course, you'll probably be playing with quick saves. You gotta stay rock steady at this point and I'm having a real hard time. Ooh, let's just take a moment. We got plenty of time to get him to the bottom of the stairs. We're gonna be alright, folks. We're gonna put them right under here. They can't see through that grating for whatever reason with their bullshit goggles. So they can't see through uh, smoke grenades or that. Alright, folks. So we're gonna slow down here and make sure we can fall down safely. Make sure our speed is still at minimum. Have our sticky shockers. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so he's going to walk away. You'll notice he's just like Sam, a ghost in the shadows. We're immediately going to adhere to this wall and go as far as we can back. Because we have a buddy up top. We're just going to watch him. First place he's going to head is over to the left. He's going to go left, between these, and then right. As soon as he goes right, that's our cue to change positions. There he goes. Because he is not alone. He has a buddy in here. There he is. There's a few ways you can take him out. I like to use airfoils, but since it's not consistent, I'm not going to do it. You'll see why in just a moment. Okay, we took him out. Let's go ahead and hit, adhere to this wall. Now we're going to aim right here. And wait for the first guy we saw. He's going to go onto our cursor about 30 seconds in. Okay, we got him, folks. We're doing all right. Now we're going to get up here. We're taking our time so we don't fuck up. As soon as we get up here, though, we're going to start running. Because we need to dump this guy over the side. Come on, Sammy. This is why I like to use airfoils here. Because you can knock him over the railing. Oh, shit. I did it the long way. God damn it, Sam. Get up, Sammy. Get it! Okay, good. <laughs> close, folks. Close. Damn close. Sell down, lethal. We're almost there. Blood is thicker than water, and you and I have blood a lot together. You're trading your honor for their agenda. Alright, as soon as he goes, we're gonna stand up and run. We're gonna run over here, try not to roll. We're going to sit down, take out our sticky shockers, and shoot right there. Okay, we got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. We don't have to hide those bodies, by the way. My heart is fucking pounding. Well, all we have to do is get Shetland now, folks. Doesn't have to end like this, Sam. No, but it does have to end. On that, we agree. We've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives, and where do we end up? Staring at each other down the barrels of our guns. Nothing has changed, Fisher. And it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory. Throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better. Because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, 
the whispered backroom deals. It's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately were made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You've only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, you wouldn't shoot an old friend. All right, folks. So we have two options here. <laughs> You'll see my cursor cannot escape his face. You cannot miss. So we can shoot him between the eyes, or we can press E to holster our gun. And he'll try to shoot us, and we'll gut him like a fish. You're right, Doug. I wouldn't shoot an old friend. It's nice, that dialogue works for both cases, because he insinuates that uh, Shetland's no longer his friend if you shoot him in the head, or you stab old friends. Either way. Okay, folks. Oh, come on, damn it. That was really close. I wonder who identified us. It must have been that guy who walked through the door at the end. Well, another 40, 43 minutes down the drain. Oh, well. I'll see you next time, folks. Alright, folks, the video's not over just yet. I'm just here to say sorry, because I am not going to play this mission again. If I have to play it again, I'm going to lose my mind. Especially when I go waste 43 minutes, only to get 97% when no one identified us. This game is full of crap. I'm pretty sure it was the last guy at the end who identified us. We just let him get just a mite too much in the room. And his bullshit goggles allowed him to see us. Those things have a great field of view on them. Uh, we, what I should have done is shot him on the inside of his left leg as he placed it through the doorway. But honestly, at the end of that, I was shaken so much. Because it is intense playing this shit on Iron Man. That I just, I don't know, I didn't trust myself to make the shot. And I've, I played this mission at least 50 to 60 times and have waste, <laughs> wasted 30 or 40 hours of my life on it. This is still a terrific game and somehow I still like it. But if I do it again, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to put my fist through my computer monitor. And since I'm sure you guys want to see more Let's Plays, I don't think you want that. So, sorry, we're not going to be 100%. You can go through here, follow exactly what I showed you, and get 100%. Uh, but you might have to use quick saves for that last guy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next video.